Hello and welcome to this data science for finance series using the Python programming language. So this is just going to be a little introductory video about what this series is going to cover and what you need to know before getting started. So what is this series going to cover? This series of videos is going to cover what I've learned in data science and how I apply this knowledge to finance, trading, and the stock market. These videos are centered on doing research and analysis and making reports, if you will, on the stock market that you can customize for yourself. I use the Python programming language to do all of my research and I do all of this research within an environment called uh, Jupyter Notebooks. And I mainly do research on the markets and the Jupyter Notebooks are great for any sort of research or iterating and working through certain ideas. Now, I don't write programs per se and I wouldn't call consider myself a developer. Um, I would say I use Python a lot more for research and machine learning purposes. Now, why am I doing this? When I began learning Python about a year and a half ago, I relied very heavily on YouTubers to help guide me and mentor me along the way, if you will. I watched a lot of videos from Siraj Raval and Harrison over at Centdex, and they helped me tremendously because they showed me what was possible by learning programming. Um, I watched so many videos just so I could understand how others approached their problems and more importantly how they communicated what they were doing while they were programming. And what I really enjoyed the most was seeing the programming put into action. You know, I had read books before, I did online tutorials, and but the problem with this is that it all seemed very abstract. Um, you can learn a lot about the syntax and the quirks of the programming language. But at the time, you know, it was hard for me to see why any of this stuff was relevant. It wasn't until I was watching YouTubers, walking through their projects, that gave me a different perspective on programming. And for this reason, I want to give back to the community because of those who have been helpful to me before. I'm a, primarily a stock options trader and have been using a lot of this knowledge in my own independent research that I've been doing for about the past six to nine months. And I just kind of want to share what I've learned along the way with you. Now, all of this is done independently and is made available for free, of course. Um, but I do ask if you find this series of videos helpful, you know, once you get to the end of it, donations are greatly appreciated. I do have a Patreon account as well as a PayPal and Bitcoin address if you wanted to give any donations. Now, in this series, what are we going to cover? First thing we're going to have to do is download stock data using an API. I also want to talk about how you can create your own candlestick charts using matplotlib. And this can be very helpful if you're creating reports on a number of stocks that you want to be able to analyze and uh, look at quickly. You're also going to use a library called TALib, which stands for Technical Analysis Library. And you're going to use find out how you can use this to create technical indicators on stocks, like relative strength index, moving average convergence, divergence, and stuff like that. We're also going to use that TALib library to identify certain stock chart patterns. Now, if you're familiar with trading, you know that they give certain names to these candlesticks and the formations they make and what this pr program would allow you to do is to identify those different patterns. So this is just kind of a, a few things that I would like to cover. This is not all inclusive and I'll probably add a lot more to it along the way. So what do you need to know going into this? I recommend you have some intermediate knowledge of Python, um, but beginners are more than welcome to watch these videos. 
you know if you if you don't have any background in programming that's fine uh, I did find programming a lot more interesting once I saw how it was being applied to solving different problems and that's really what motivated me more than anything to dig in and really excite me to learn you know the syntax and the basics even more you know that's what motivated me was seeing all the cool things you can do in the projects that people were working on now I'm also expecting that you have some understanding of the stock market um, if you're watching this series I'm making the assumption that you're a finance person who wants to learn how you can apply Python to different financial problems now I don't plan on going into tremendous detail about what technical indicators are or what chart patterns are in this specific series um, so I'm just gonna assume you have some familiarity of those topics and you're interested in learning how you can apply programming to those things now if you are interested in learning more about finance and the economy I do plan on making videos about that as well so please subscribe and stay tuned now what do you need to what should you have to get started? You're going to need to have the Jupyter Notebook installed. And that is going to be at this link. And that'll take you here. It'll give you a little walkthrough of what you need to do. Um, first, you're going to want to download Anaconda. And I would say download Python 3.7 because it's the newest version and because that's the version that I will be doing this tutorial in. It always makes it easier if you're using the same syntax, the same programming uh, version. Because there are differences between Python 2 and Python 3. And go ahead and install it, and you could open up a, a, the command prompt on your computer and type in Jupyter Notebook to open it up and make sure it works. Now you're also going to need Python packages installed. I put these here, but I'll go through them in each video in the series as we use them, and I'll show you how you could go ahead and install those as well. So with that being said, this is the introductory video. Stay tuned for more videos in this series and subscribe to my channel if this is something that you're interested in. Complete.